Jasmine Paolini versus Barbara Kuchikova is a final of Wimbledon for 2024. And both players were not expected to be in the final. Kuchikova entered the tournament as the number 31 seed and would take on Kudamatova in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight back to win. 7 6, 6 7, 7 5. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Volley Nets. And after two tie breaks, would get to win straights. 7 6, 7 6. In the third round, she'd take on Maniro, who had taken out Von Drusova along the way. And after winning the first set easily, Maniro would be forced to retire, handing Kuchikova the win. 6 love, 4 3 retirement. In the fourth round, she'd take on Collins, the 11th seed, who had just taken out a Dad Meyer in the previous round. And after Collins got injured in the second set, Krajikova would get through in straights 7 5 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Krajikova would take on Ostapenko, the number 13 seed, who she'd only beaten twice in seven meetings. And after a close second set, would get through in straights 6 4 7 6 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Krajikova would take on Rabakina, the number four seed, who was the favorite to win the tournament. And after dropping the first set, She'd fight back to win 3 6 6 3 6 4 to advance to her second Grand Slam final. Pellini entered the tournament as the number seven seed and would take a Tormom in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights 7 5 6 3. In the second round, she'd take on Minin. And again, after a close first set, would get through in straights 7 6 6 2. Third round, she'd take on Andrescu, who had actually had a pretty good grass court season to this stage. And again, a close first set, but getting through in straights 7 6 6 1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Keys, the number 12 seed, who's a very dangerous player on the grass. And after splitting the first two sets and five all in the third, Keys would get injured and have to retire with the score at 6-3, 6-7, 5 all retirement in favor of Paolini to make the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Paolini would take on Navarro, the number 19 seed, who she had lost all three previous meetings to. But Paolini was on fire, winning in less than an hour, 6-2, 6-1, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Paolini would take on Vekic, the only unseeded semifinalist in the draw, and this was a battle. After dropping the first set, she'd fight back to win, 2-6, 6-4, 7-6, -6, to advance to another Grand Slam final. These two have only played the one time before. That was back in Australia in 2018 in the qualifying. So these two players weren't that expected to be that good back then. I mean, Kudrykova played a lot of doubles before she eventually came onto the scene in singles. But man, it's been such a long time since that's happened. And so much has changed since they did play there last time. If Kudrykova is going to win this one, she's going to dictate the rallies and be a little bit more proactive than she has in their last two matches. Of course, she's played Ostapenko, Collins, and Rabakina, all aggressive players. Pelini's not the aggressor in this one. She'll be a bit more defensive. So she's got to be aggressive herself and take over the rallies. If Pelini's going to win this one, she just get off to a good start and settle the nerves because she's the higher ranked player. Maybe the expectation is on her a little bit more. Then again, Krajikova has won a Grand Slam, so maybe there's not. But if she is feeling that expectation, that pressure, she's got to get off to a better start than she did against Vekic. What a great matchup. So interesting to have this final. A former champion of a Grand Slam and a finalist from last month. But I've got to go with Paolini in this one in three sets. I reckon Paolini will get it done. Krajikova, she's had a great run, but I just feel like the, it's such a different player than she's been playing the last couple of matches. That it's going to be Paolini's time and she's going to win her first Grand Slam. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning Wimbledon.